Let's start from here. The Institute for Energy Security, IES, has predicted a further drop in fuel prices by about 2% in the first pricing window of April. The Institute says the drop could be attributed to the removal of excise levy and the review of the special petroleum tax, which has been moved from 17.5% to 15 by the government. The IES last month predicted some 3% fall in fuel prices for the second pricing window in March. They then based the fall on the drop in prices of petroleum products on the world market, as well as the relative stability in the foreign exchange market. The city recording some strength in the course of the weeks gone by. Let's speak to the Chamber of Petroleum Consumers. Its executive uh, director, Duncan Amwa, has just joined me on the phone lines. Uh, Mr. Amwa, grateful for your time tonight. So uh, the whole thing is that the drop we've been seeing in the past week will continue into uh, the new month we have just entered in. Is that what you're saying? Uh, indeed. Uh, expectations are that poor prices are likely to go down even further. Uh, in the month of April. Uh, why do we say this? Uh, the World Market Index uh, is likely uh, to go down further because of OPEC depletion, uh, which is still in full force. And as we are told, Iraq is coming back on stream uh, with those uh, uh, cuts. So one would expect that the world market uh, prices will continue to uh, either go down or stay where it is. Fortunately for Ghanaians, the city seems to be doing quite well uh, over the couple of weeks. Since it's also for it, and uh, you expect that uh, some taxes have gone down, then it is likely a poor it will go down further from what we have seen in the month of uh, March. And that is why we are thinking uh, before the end of April, we are likely to see a minimum of 5% uh, further that on current form prices. Uh, which mostly are uh, hovering around 4.120 uh, uh, per liter. I see. I have seen uh, some 50 pesos uh, drop, uh, some uh, 30 pesos drop, uh, and that kind of drop below one CD. Uh, are these satisfactory? Should consumers just uh, take it uh, and wait for perhaps uh, what is to come up next? Indeed, uh, consumers cannot be satisfied, although uh, I can say we are quite uh, happy with uh, the, the recent trends where we've seen uh, reductions instead of increase uh, as pertained previously. But uh, if you remember, some two, three months ago, the major excuse was that the city is losing ground and that led to uh, poor prices going up. Today, uh, the, the reverse is the case where the city seems to not only stabilize but make sustainable gains uh, against the other major trading currencies. What Ghanaians are expecting is to find a situation where prices will go down accordingly, uh, just the same way it did go up from uh, the three cities, uh, 18, three cities. Uh, 19, 3 CD, 30, 3 CD, 40, up until we got to about 4 CD, uh, 39 per square. We are expecting that we probably will get back to the, the 3 CD uh, region. Now we are doing about 4 CD, uh, 12 per square to a liter. Uh, some have even done 4 CD, uh, 8 per square, uh, if you go to the current form. We are hoping that in the month of April, uh, we should see uh, poor prices go down uh, to the three point uh, whatever region uh, so that if poor prices could go down to about 17 cities there, about uh, from current 18 cities, uh, 43 per square, I'm sure Ghanaians will be a lot more grateful. And uh, we expect OMC uh, to be fair to all of us, just as they were uh, when poor prices uh, had to go up. Mm. You have been monitoring what happens on the international market with fuel prices. Uh, you just said that Iraq uh, is expected to come in soon, and that means more uh, uh, production uh, to bring down the prices. 
Is what is happening on the international market likely uh, to remain same in the, in the new quarter that we have just started from April, May uh, to June? Uh, indeed, like I indicated, uh, it's currently hovering around $50. Mm. Uh, chances are that it might even tumble below 50 uh, within the month of April. And that, uh, together with the fact that the city uh, has some uh, significant uh, stability and in some cases is even making gains uh, against uh, the dollar specifically, one would expect that indeed home prices in Ghana uh, would react or would respond uh, to uh, the international trends as we are observing or as we are expecting uh, into the month of April. Again, uh, we would comment the handling of the city, but we expect a little more so that uh, if the city could do about 4.1, uh, 4.0, I'm sure we'll be able to ask the OMCs or the OMCs uh, will be able to respond accordingly and give Ghanaian uh, uh, some better significant drop. But we have done so far uh, between 3 to about 6.57% uh, on ex home prices as pertained previously. We are expecting mm. about 5% uh, further drops uh, into the month of April. Mm, uh, I'm grateful, Ms. Amwa, for uh, your time tonight. Duncan Amwa is the Executive Director of the Chamber of Petroleum Consumers, talking to me about uh, the fuel prices. And I'm sure I've been going to uh, the pumps, uh, it's, uh, uh, di uh, diesel and uh, petrol, all of them running around 4.120, 4.130. We'll update you on that. But uh, the hope is that they will continue to go down. Uh, you're listening to us on 3FM 92.7, watching us on TV3.